top Iranian general claimed that his country has secret defense facilities and capabilities that could be used to punish enemies. We possess equipment that could punish the enemies in the furthest points if need be, Deputy Chief of the Iranian Army Brigadier General Mohammad Hossein Dadras warned, the Tehran Times reported. Today, many of our equipment are unveiled, but our more effective equipment are not unveiled, and they would appear when they are needed to strike a tough blow to the enemy," he said. According to Iran's Islamic Republic news agency, Erna, the commander underlined that Iran's secret defense facilities and capabilities could scare enemies to death if necessary. Dadra's remarks came amid continuing tensions between the Persian Gulf nation and the U.S., as well as a week after Iran revealed its Beaver 737 missile system. Iranian officials have claimed that the system is more advanced than the U.S. MIM-104 Patriot system as well as its Russian counterpart, the S-300. George Friedman, founder and chairman at Geopolitical Futures, told Newsweek that while the Iranian generally was probably telling the truth about having secret weapons, the comment was most likely an attempt at posturing. The claim that they have weapons that have not been unveiled is probably true. All countries have them. Iran can't know if the Americans or any other country knows about them because they don't know if they have been penetrated," Friedman said. The worst thing to do if you have truly secret weapons is to announce that you have them, as every intelligence agency of any size will be tasked to find out what they have," he pointed out. Announcing that I have a secret that you don't know is dumb. And the Iranians aren't dumb. So I take this as posturing. Tensions remain high between Iran and the U.S. after President Donald Trump walked away from the 2015 Iran nuclear deal, signed by his predecessor former President Barack Obama, and re-implemented crippling financial sanctions targeting the country. The landmark treaty, which was also signed by the European Union, the United Kingdom Germany, France, China, and Russia, offered Iran sanctions relief and international investment in exchange for curbing its nuclear program. Consistent reports from the United Nations nuclear watchdog showed that Iran was abiding by the terms of the deal. But Trump believed the agreement was bad for the U.S. Trump on Monday told reporters that he was willing to meet directly with Iran's President Hassan Rouhani, saying the country had tremendous potential. I have a good feeling. I think Irahani is going to want to meet and get their situation straightened out," the president said. They are hurting badly. However, Rouhani on Tuesday dismissed the possibility unless the U.S. lifted sanctions against his country. In the relations between Iran and the U.S., we will not witness any positive development unless the U.S. abandons the sanctions and corrects the wrong path it has chosen," the Iranian president said. The key to positive developments is in Washington's hands, he added. Iran will probably continue to prioritize the development and acquisition of more advanced ballistic missiles in the future. and will continue its transition from liquid to solid propelled systems which are more sustainable, primarily because they offer greater self-sufficiency. However, due to the missile's poor accuracy, Iran may concentrate on improving the accuracy of its missiles, rather than trying to extend the range of its systems. Iranian government officials have recently hinted that they would limit the range of their missiles and focus on improving accuracy. If they succeed, Iran may become a supplier of missile technology and assistance to other nations. Iranian officials have made no secret about their intention of developing their missile system. For instance, Mohammad Javad Zarif, Iran's foreign minister said that Iran needs to develop its own defenses. 
another official noted that Iran does not need permission to defend itself and to work on its defense capabilities. Experts believe that Iran has recently started working on how to counter the missile defense systems in the region. To this end, experts argue, Iran has been employing salvo tactics in an attempt to complicate certain sectors of its missile defense system. Including using diverse launch points and hiding mobile systems, which will allow its army to launch missiles anywhere it wants.